How do? This is Chaingrave Games. So today, I want to talk about Kill Team. The state of the current season of Kill Team, what we're looking forward to in the future, what we might be getting, and how it's all going to round out in the end. I mean, uh, we've had two seasons of Kill Team so far, starting with the, uh, the new version of Kill Team, and I think we can all agree they've been pretty good. I mean, the first season of Kill Team, you had a... Obviously, the first starter bot was two brand new teams, and then you had a terrain, and then you then got a, a new team, and then a pre-existing troop choice with an upgrade sprue. And that lasted with, you know, terrain options, that lasted all the way until Season 2, which was on the Gallo Dark. Then the first one was again two brand new teams, but then you got your Gallo Dark Terrain. But then throughout the second season, you always got Gallo Dark Terrain. But the teams themselves carried on the same way, where you'd get like a, a brand new team and then a pre existing troop choice with an upgrade sprue. And now, Season 3 is looking to mix things up a little bit. It's looking to be, well, the very first one is going to be brand new sculpts for the Space Marine Scouts and Striking Scorpions. And then you're going to get a little bit of sprue, uh, not a little bit of sprue, a little bit of terrain in the box with the two teams. But then the extra terrain will be an optional box. Which is a good idea as long as the optional terrain reduces the cost of the the box with the two teams in. Because if it doesn't reduce the cost, then what's the point? And then talking about the two teams we're getting in Salvation, I'm pretty sure it's called, Salvation, which really we're quite behind on. And the only reason I can, you know, think that is, is because of 10th edition. You know, uh, 10th edition has just come out for 40k, and so it's pushed back the releases of Kill Team Season 3. But really, we should have already had one box set, Salvation, with your Space Marine Scouts, who, interesting sculpts, you seem to be really good, a, a relatively decent Kill Team, you're probably going to get more than six operatives in the, uh, in the Kill Team, because they're Scouts, not Space Marines. Um, but then, on the opposite side, you get Striking Scorpions. Eldar. The problem with it really is that I can see, and what I'm worried about moving forward, is that the Striking Scorpions seem to be just the troop choice for Eldari Striking Scorpions. You're getting a a, a a chain sword and a shuriken pistol, and then the uh, the leader of the squad is getting a uh, a what you call it a uh, Karandras kind of blade thing, you know, like scorpion uh, claw thing. Um, but that means there's no specialists in the box, and apparently the workaround for that is that you'll be able to have a a couple of the other. Eldari choices in it which unless you are an Eldari player in 40k isn't the best workaround because then it means you need to get uh, multiple other troop options just to have a well rounded kill team well I guess it depends on the rules because they are saying if you've got a full striking scorpion kill team then you get a different abilities as compared to like you know mixing and matching uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether it's a good choice or a bad choice. It's they could have made some specialists out of that scrap, uh, that striking scorpions box, couldn't they? They could have done, but they didn't, and that worries me for the future of Kill Team because we've seen what's coming in the second box for season three of Kill Team. Well, one of them 
which will be Chaos, Legionnaire, Night Lords, brand new upgrade sprue for the for the Chaos Legionaries, um, but all Night Lord themed. Now the whispers are saying that the other half of that box will be brand new Drukari Mandrakes. So, when I heard the announcement, well, not the announcement, but the rumours that it was going to be Night Lords versus Drukari, I was a bit like, well, not even Night Lords, like, you know, Chaos Space Marines versus Drukari. I was a bit like, uh, haven't we already had this? Uh, haven't we already had we We've got teams for this. We've got the Chaos Legionaries and the Hand of the Archon. So I wasn't that enthralled, even when I heard it was going to be a specific Night Lords upgrade sprue. I was a bit like, okay. It's third party bits for that. But then I heard the Mandrakes would be getting a lovely new plastic refresh and I was like now you have my attention now if you're not a Drukari player so you have no idea about the Dark Eldar and the, the different kind of ins and outs of uh, Conora then you might not know what Mandrakes are so let's go into a little educational video about it the Mandrakes are Dark Eldar Drukari who live in Elendrick, which is a part of Komara, which is a shadow realm. They, if anything, they're not really even Drukari anymore. They're different. Even Drukari fear them. They can literally erupt from your own shadow to kill you. Sounds pretty damn cool, doesn't it? Well, they also have a king, Keradruak, who is the decapitator, the king of the Mandrakes. There's lore for him, he's never had a model, he's a four-armed Mandrake with a massive decapitating blade. And he looks amazing, he really does, in, well, without, you know, obviously no model, but all the... Uh, all the artwork makes him look absolutely amazing. So, using that, what will Games Workshop do with a new Mandrake box? Hopefully we'll get 10 models, 10 individual sculpts. But, will they go the way of the Striking Scorpions, where it's like, here's your Mandrakes, there you go. All they can do is use a uh, Glimmer Steel Blades and... Uh, Bale of Fire, or will they make some specialists out of it? Hopefully, I'd, I'd say hopefully they can make some specialists. I mean, there are oh, you, you could easily enough do specialists out of the Mandrakes. You could have a, a leader Mandrake, like who's like a mini version of Keradruak, who's got you know multiple arms, or he could be like a fighter option, like a melee option for the Mandrake. You could have your, your regular Mandrakes who have got Bale Fire and a Glimmer Steel Blade. You could have a Mandrake who's literally erupting in Bale Fire, ready to do pretty much a massive Hadouken. That'd be amazing. I mean, they've already done models who like are erupting in flames because they're fire based. That'd be brilliant. You could have a. Uh, a mandrake using a massive decapitating blade, like maybe not Keradruax, but a massive blade, like a two-handed weapon. Uh, you have other options you could use. You could use like a, apparently a Shade Ravens or a thing in a Elendrick. So you could have a mandrake who's like a who commands Shade Ravens. They could be your little animal kind of things in, you know, on the uh, the extra sprue. He could be more like a support uh, specialist. 
they, if they wanted to go into it, there, there are things they could do. That's if that's the second half of the next kill team box that we're going to get. But our source for these rumours is usually quite good, and he did say that it was going to be Night Lords versus Mandrakes, and we've already seen the Night Lords revealed, so I guess we'll see. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know in the comments. Do, do you agree? You think Mandrakes would be really good as, like, you know, with their own specialists and stuff, or should it just be a box of, you know, mand Mandrakes and then, you know, like the Striking Scorpions, you can kind of filter in a couple of other Drakari options into it if you want to be like that. Um, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe. Much love. I will see you in a bit.